Yo, what is up you guys? We got an extra, extra long Alliance War video for you guys today. In this video we take up six sticks. Uh, I believe they're like a 2900 Raider Alliance around there. Uh, and this with this war we have to win because uh, winning would mean we would get into back into tier one for that multiplier. Uh, so yeah, this war is a little important, but uh, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna boost up. Uh, I'm gonna go in with Starkey, and uh, you guys will not believe this. So I haven't died in 30. Uh, I think it's 34, 35 wars, but who's keeping count? Um, and uh, I sped it up by a lot. Basically, like this was a one minute, uh, like a minute and a half. But yeah, my first death in over two seasons was to a disconnect. So yeah, that felt pretty good. Uh, I was a little bit livid. I did put out a, a Twitter post saying like, uh, yeah, feels good, man, to uh, to die to a DC. Um, it's not even the potions that bothers me because, like, I have potions, I have glory. Uh, it's just the fact that, you know, on the scoreboard, it, it's still a death, which sucks. Uh, but, yeah, that also kind of hits, um, uh, hits me in the, uh, the item use as well. Because, as you guys know, it's 15 out of 15, um, uh, on the, on the items that you can use in online War. And if you, uh, if you lose half your health and you're boosted, um, he, he, that's gonna cost you in the item use. Especially, let's say, what if I went in with Void? Void has 50,000 health boosted. Uh, so I would come down to 25k. And yeah, I would have to heal 20 to 25k in potions. Which is uh, 4 to 5 potions right there. Uh, maybe even 6. So luckily, it was my Sparky. Um, so I'm not gonna heal up all the way because I don't think I'm gonna use Sparky all that much. Uh, it's the very first fight, obviously. It's a nice man. Uh, <laughs> I had to heal up. Um, it, it, was, it, it sucked, man. But, oh well, whatever. It happens. Hopefully, uh, knock on wood, it won't happen again. Um, but yeah, it's a nice man. It's a pretty easy fight. Cold Snap is not too bad. Um, using my parries, just because I know, um, I'm, I'm gonna be like tearing through this Iceman pretty quickly. Uh, I'm just gonna bait it heavy. Uh, instead, he does a full five, so I punish it and SP2 and Iceman is down. Alright, so first fight, pretty easy. On to my next fight. Um, next fight is a six star mutant, and my hunch is this is a Nightcrawler. Uh, so I'm just gonna go in with Sparky. Uh, I don't really have to heal all that much, uh, Sparky, just because this fight is so fast. I mean, uh, if you get tagged real early, uh, yeah, you die, <laughs> uh, especially because this is Bane. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna uh, heal up with Sparky, uh, use my L4 potion. As you guys see, I'm already down to 11 out of 15 on the second fight. Um, so I gotta be very careful. Um, and very tactical. So here I'm trying to get him to switch his stance and I managed to get it on the second try. Um, and then uh, now that I have a rank 5 Sparky, he does so much damage that like I don't even build full charges anymore. Um, even with the, the 6 or 7, like it, he just hitting insanely hard. So yeah, that fight went down so fast. Uh, it was like 2 or 3 combos, it was insane. Next we got a rank 5 cosmic and I thought this was going to be Medusa, I was like alright sweet I can brush up a little bit on my Medusa gameplay, but uh, it's actually the champion um, and like not gonna lie this is not a pretty fight, uh, <laughs> it seems like I haven't had a lot of pretty fights but uh, yeah the, basically the first thing I would change here, like this is my first time fighting the champion, I didn't even duel because uh, I was boosted and I was like alright let's go for it. Uh, first thing I would have done is I would have waited for that special attack. Uh, I would have launched it a little bit later. Uh, the second thing I would have done here differently is I would have utilized my parries because uh, towards the later parts of the fight when you're cornered, uh, you really aren't getting that many parries because he's just going unstoppable so many times. So it's not like you would be using it all that much anyways. 
Uh, and lastly, the third thing I would do is um, uh, I would uh, be using the Nightcrawler trick more often. Um, that way, I could just you know easily get some debuffs on, on him um, without having to uh, have to you know like be here in the corner. And as you guys can see, like I, I I'm getting hit with his heavies. His uh, so I'm used to Medusa's heavy where it's it's pretty easy to dodge. You just um, evade, evade, and here I'm just not getting the timing on the heavies, and I don't know why. Uh, and here for some reason my block drops too, and I'm like I'm like uh okay this is kind of bad. Um, but I uh, just gotta survive a little bit more. Uh, just till this uh. Where he's off, but the DJ killed him. But yeah, three mistakes there. Uh, my 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 block suddenly dropped, uh, and uh, the the other is uh, I got hit with two heavies. Um, just the timing was a little awkward. So uh, I got something to do later on. Uh, I'll definitely do it before war, um, before our next war. Just do all my duels. Um, but yeah, learning experience, I lost a lot of health there, uh, which would have been mitigated if I just, uh, if I knew the timing on the heavies. Um, here, uh, so as you guys saw, generally I heal to it like at least 80%, but this is a King Groot and I'm actually hoping to heal up from this guy. Um, so as you guys saw, I use my parries so that he can use his, um, his furies up. Uh, so for any that don't know, basically all you have to do is you gotta um, use a debuff to knock off his furies, so that way he goes into regen state if he ha if he's duped, uh, and then you run into the SP one, and it'll give you a permanent um, a permanent armor break. And if you're running willpower like I do, uh, yeah, you'll be healing uh, a good amount. Uh, so as you can see, it's 130 per tick or 260 per second, which is pretty nuts. So I, I uh, keep in mind I came in here with 45% um, health, um, the block damage and the hit took me down to like 40. So I've healed 14% uh, health by now, uh, which is pretty freaking good, uh, especially on a boosted void. Uh, and I, I end up with like 70, 75% around there. Uh, so yeah, like uh, this healing is pretty freaking good. Uh, and I'm pretty like, oh, let's go. Uh, so he's down to uh, uh, under 40%, and I kind of want him to back off so I can use the Nightcrawler trick so that um, uh, so that I can just stall. I like at this point, I just want to stall uh, to get as much healing as I can. Uh, but yeah, it just when you get Fear of the Void, just the the damage is is it's a lot, man. Um, especially on the buff right now, and and so here I'm just dodging back, but uh, yeah, healed up to 75% from 45. Pretty good, guys. Pretty good. All right, next fight we've got a tech. Um, I was gonna heal up, but um, I didn't know who it was. Uh. I tried to find out who it was by using some base stats, but I, I couldn't figure out who it was. Uh, and it turns out it's because the guy was actually running suicides. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go in here with Void, um, and this guy is actually running. Uh, I'm not sure if it, I, I'm not sure how many points, but he's only running the poison uh, mastery. Uh, so that actually helps avoid a ton because not only does poison uh, reduce your healing, but because it's a debuff, avoid benefits and does damage over time. Uh, so instead of uh, taking like the usual three or four hundred damage from poison, um, you gotta add on the the like five hundred. Uh, I mean, well, like another hundred uh, from void. Uh, so as you can see. Uh, already, this guy is down to 80%. Uh, this is a rank 4 or 5 star. Uh, down to 70%, and uh, throw my first <laughs> debuff on. This guy is uh, damn near halfway dead. <laughs> uh, yeah, 700 damage per take is, is pretty insane. Alright, uh, and get him to throw his uh, SP2. Uh, I did like 4% to my block, not too bad. 
but yeah, just sit on my uh, my specials and yeah, <laughs> look, those guys just uh, he's just going down. <laughs> And yeah, I'm just dodging just because like why fight when <laughs> he'll just kill himself. It's pretty funny. Alright, uh, and now on to uh, a mystic fight. Uh, I, I, I didn't know who it was. I, I was thinking maybe it would be magic in which case uh, I would use blade, but I saw the three charges. Arena's Bethesda. And it's rank 3. So Void is going to tear him a new one. So yeah, since Void is incinerating uh, immune, he's a, a perfect matchup to this Mephisto. And uh, Petrify already on him, so I'm pretty happy. I uh, don't have to worry about him getting to an SP3. Uh, and yeah, I, got pretty much, I pretty much got control of this fight. He's down to 70%. Yeah, uh, this fight was pretty easy. Alright, uh, and yeah, just uh, rank 3 just doesn't size up anymore. Uh, especially at rank 5. Uh, I don't even think I'd boost it, so if I boosted this fight would have already been over. Uh, he already used up his heals. Uh, down 20%, I believe I get like another 5 hit combo and a special attack. And yeah, he's down. Alright, and uh, now on to the second, yes, you heard it right, the second to last fight of this war. So yes guys, I do get some boss action uh, for once. Generally I don't because I run uh, uh, Blade Stark Void uh, and generally it's a, like a rank 5 Medusa, uh, the champion or Dormammu. Uh, and yeah, my champions aren't really boss killers. Uh, aside from, uh, like, if it was a, if it was a mutant, yeah, I I, would, I could use Stark or, or I could use Void. Uh, but yeah, these uh, my team is is geared to six seven, um, and that's what they do. So as like as you guys can see, uh, with these champions, I, I rarely die. Uh, they they <laughs> they're just that good, but. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go on and take this um, this uh, six star Green Goblin. This uh, fight's not too bad. Um, Green Goblin is a little bit annoying in that he gets kind of stingy sometimes. So I've noticed that it kind of depends on your spacing and the timing of when you're trying to bait his special one. Um, so if you're doing too uh, deep in of it, too deep of an evade. Uh, he'll be a little bit more stingy with his um, special attacks uh, But if it's a uh, more of a shallow one um, He'll uh, he'll throw it more more often than not and this is something I noticed in Alliance quest as well uh, But maybe that's just my luck. Uh, I could be completely wrong uh, I got our first petrify so happy there uh, as you guys saw there uh, That was one of the like more shallow evades um, and yeah, as he threw it immediately. Uh, we got both our petrified debuffs on there, and uh, yeah, this is where they got the, this uh, green goblin just melts. So as you guys can see, he's at 70% health. Uh, he's taken down for like 500, 700 per tick, uh, and it just keeps increase, increasing. Uh, we eventually get Fear the Void, so the D-Gen goes down a little bit, but throw my SP1, uh, get a Petrify, I'm like, yes, alright, let's go, get another um, SP1 in there, he activates his, like, regen, uh, uh, whatever it is, Madness, or is, I'm not sure if it's Madness, or I, I'm guessing it's Madness, I'm pretty sure it's Madness, and yeah, he, oh my gosh, he just goes down so fast. Alright, and the final boss is a Medusa, but it's a rank 4 Medusa. Uh, so, uh, generally, uh, whoever has a Mystic or whoever has a Corvus for charges takes this, but uh, a lot of them, their boost um, ran out, so. Um, and, and two. One person did like no damage, and the other person uh, died like. Yeah, it barely did any damage as well. 
uh, and I ask, uh, I ask the, the the main boss, uh, Vasoko, if I could take it. Uh, he he wanted someone to just like you know just finish it off. So he was asking other people, um, and then he he saw that the the second person uh, barely did any damage, and he was like, Hector, are you still there? And I was like, say no more. Uh, and then I PM'd him with the uh, the kill already. Uh, so that was pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, we are fighting a rank four Medusa. Um, I feel if I had max boosted, right, uh, use the the skill boost, I would probably be able to solo a rank five. I'm not sure if I would time out. Uh, it probably depend a lot on RNG. Uh, another thing is that I'm not sure if if the SP one or the SP two would be more efficient uh, in terms of damage over time. Uh, while the SP2 can have a lot of good damage, um, having that SP1 with the bleed where you can just get a constant uh, amount a, of uh, power gain from the bleeds might um, be a little bit more um, effective, but uh, I'm not an expert, but... Uh, if someone like would be able to like let me know if they or if they sold a rank five Medusa on here uh, with Blade, that would be sick. That way I could try it. Uh, it'd be fun to get. Um, at least I, I don't think I've seen any rank five Blades take it on YouTube at least. But it would be nice to upload one. Um, and as you can see, I throw my SP1 right before she goes to Living Strands. And I do like to um, bait the SP2. I feel like she, um, as far as baiting SP1, she doesn't like to throw the SP1. Um, it, it like depends on the, the spacing, but her, um, her SP2, uh, I, I find a lot easier to, um, to bait. All right, so we got one minute left. She's got um, just over 30% health left. Um, and yeah, she's going down, so pretty sick. All right, so as you guys can see, I am getting as many parry bleeds as I can because that uh, adds to my damage. Get my SP1 in there, I'm gonna bait an SP2. And I just block it. It's just like uh, that way I can get an in. Um, and I just said whatever. I believe uh, like I might have blocked another um, SP1. I think I blocked this SP1. Yeah, I just block it. Uh, just because I, I know this fight's done. And SP2 when she's down. So yeah, got a. Uh, uh, I'll call it a, a Medusa Soul. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, you guys can catch Legacy's uh, video as well in the description.